Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, John, how you doing? Good, Art. Uh, and today, you know what today is. Today is Love Coach Day. Ah, yes, uh, Michelle. Michelle Fabrica is waiting in the wings. And uh, Hello, I'm Michelle. Gonna... Michelle, thank you for Hi. coming again. By the way, Michelle, uh, we've gotten some great feedback on some of your uh, pieces. And uh, uh, you have a fan club out there on Celebrating Act Two. I have to tell you that, yeah. So uh, you, one of the things you do is you address relationships, even though I like to call you the love coach. You address relationships at all ages and all variations of you know problems that people have with those we care about. And um, it seems to me, even though both Art and I have been married for over 50 years each, it does seem to me that it must be really, really hard to be single in the age of COVID-19. At any age. Uh, well, at any age. Yeah. We're talking about mature adults. We're talking yeah. about adults that are, that are over 50. It's difficult to be single, whether you're recently divorced or you haven't never married or whatever it is. It's difficult to date, you know, but to find somebody to be just, how do you deal with being single and particularly in the age of COVID-19, where we're all restricted. You can't go to clubs. You can't, you know, even church gatherings are, are and to some degree or not. Mm -hmm. So we'd love your advice for those people who are single. Right, single and don't want to be. Um, I don't want to be. Yes, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Because I just don't want to say people are happy being single. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and that's awesome. Like I think our culture has, you know, quite a bias around like you got to couple up or something, and it might not be the right thing for different people at different stages of their life. So I just want to clarify that. But the first thing I like to ask, you know, to have people inquire about is like, what are they actually looking for? So what do they want right now at this stage of life? Are they looking for companionship? Are they looking for, you know, like a life partner? Are they looking for a friendship with some physical or sensual or sexual benefits? You know, there are all kinds of options here. And, um, and this can change over time, right? So depending on as you start to meet people, maybe you figure, nah, I'm not sure what I'm wanting here. Maybe I just do want companionship. But it's good to you know, get, a, get a sense of what you're looking for. And um, that can help certainly to know for yourself, but also as you're meeting people, you know, sharing what you're what you're looking for. So you're kind of on, you want to be on the same page, roughly. Yeah. So are we talking about dating, really? Or are we just talking about um, living life and um, hoping to make a, a, a relationship connection? Well, I mean, that's what I see as dating is what you just define it to be, really. Dating can be any kind of thing of getting together with other people, right? Or, you know, like normally we think of dating as like a one-on-one -on -one experience, but if you're actively wanting to meet someone, you're either meeting people one-on-one, -on -one, you're going to, you know, events of some sort. And um, th the first thing I, I like to, as you hear me before, talk about really intention and talk about what you're looking for, but also just to think of it as like, to kind of take a lazy approach to it. I think that can be a much more joyful way to look at dating, like see it as an adventure. You know, you're meeting new people, you're learning about yourself. Like imagine if you were traveling solo, you'd be meeting different people, you'd be having different experiences. And it's sort of like, if we let go of those, you know, expectations about, you know, is this person on, you know, they match my list and is this somebody I wanna, you know, then it just, it can be more, um, just have more ease around it and more just discovery. Mm, I like that. Uh, uh, uh let go of your expectations. I think, you know, particularly because we're, there's a romantic element of what we're talking about, you know, depending on what kind of a relationship you're looking for. Um, and, and I don't think age has anything to do with it. You might be looking for a romantic relationship at any age, or you might be really looking for um, companionship, friendship, somebody a simpatico, um, you know, that you can deal with, uh, that maybe you want to travel with. Um, and and knowing what you want is is sometimes difficult because we could where where is going with this is sometimes we become desperate when we decide that let's say I don't want to be single, you know you want something and you didn't get it and you don't know how to really get it, and you become desperate, and and in the case of being single and looking for a relationship, 
Um, boy, being desperate really doesn't work, does it? <laughs> no, it's it's it happens, right? I mean, sometimes we get really lonely. Sometimes we're really touch starved. Sometimes we just, you know, we just want to just hold someone close or be naked with someone or whatever it is. And it's just it is it's really can be difficult in those moments. And yet, like you said, if you're feeling desperate, it, it's not really the vibe you want to put out there. Although if you do really, you know, want to connect with somebody, it's good to be, you know, forthcoming about that. Like, you know, this is important to me. I really want to meet someone. And so, you know, people can rather than just like, oh, I'm going to take it or leave it. You know, it's like, that's not really that. There's not much energy in that process of getting to know someone if you're just sort of like, you know, blase, right? So yeah. there's a balance there. But yeah. it, seems to me, it seems to me, though, that uh, particularly in uh, the age of COVID-19, that uh, in addition to all the other issues that uh, uh, you describe and how people need to deal with it, is that if let's say somebody just wants to get together and we both have uh, uh, lives, uh, th uh, this person and the other person uh, both have a life and they may have families that they're around, so on and so forth. So do we have to have COVID-19 tests? Uh, <laughs> do, we, uh, uh, do we hang out at one person's out of the other one, uh, even dating. I mean, where do you go? Do you go to an outside restaurant? Do you just go for a walk in a park? Uh, I mean, all those issues. How do people, I mean, have you seen a decrease in people even trying to find a, a partner of any kind during this time? And if so, uh, any suggestions on how to overcome that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a great point art because yeah it is really difficult now and I think some people are discouraged I mean and, and just like kind of like in the you know economic world discouraged workers right they just given up looking for you know a job in this situation some people do just oh you know I'm just going to wait till this is over but I think a lot of people are discovering that it unfortunately it, it seems to be lasting longer than we'd like here so one of the first things to do is just yeah it's almost like getting to know someone in a long like in a long distance relationship because it maybe you take longer to actually meet in person. And so, um, you know, I have a couple couple thoughts around that, like um, kind of steps, if you will, uh, just to organize things. So the first thing I suggest is to let your friends know that you're interested in dating. And this can be kind of vulnerable, but yet meeting people through people you already know is, is a great way to kind of, to get connected to the new people. Like maybe somebody will set you up on a date with someone you know. So, you know, introduced you to somebody that they, now that they know, because people don't like to do that unless they actually know you're interested, because then, you know, you wouldn't want to presume that they are interested in dating. So that's my first uh, tip is to make sure you let your, you know, community know that you're interested in that. That's, and, a, good, that's a good tip. And? Good at, okay, that's one. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously <laughs> there's online and in person. Well, obviously, mm. mostly now with COVID-19, there's, there's, um, online uh, events uh, through the community center, through maybe your church or other organizations you're part of, any volunteer things you're doing. Um, yeah, so there's ways to meet people in classes, learning new things and um, things that interest you. You know, go check them out. Go go visit some of these events. And, um, and obviously there are dating sites. There are dating sites just for seniors. There are some that are um, obviously all ages and you know you put in your parameters. And, but there's also some that are just for seniors. And um, that's, that's another way to get connected to people. And then you basically, you know, you start slowly. You're chatting over text or the, whatever messaging they have. And then maybe a phone call or a video, visit, video date, right? And then you meet in a kind of a physical distancing, you know, outdoor location. Of, Bring your own food, a picnic, you know, just you start slowly. And then obviously, like you said, Art, you have to be mindful of your own, you know, risk factors and, you know, who you're sheltering in place with. And um, so it gets a little more complicated, but it's not unlike, you know, with sexually transmitted diseases, right? We have to take our, um, be cautious about that. You know, we're kind of partial to Skype, but you just wrote up something that I'm waiting for uh, somebody to write a song called and zoom with the strings of my heart. <laughs> I'm sorry. So wait, let's, let's uh, in all fairness, though, let's repeat. Uh, you said let friends know. Um, maybe well, just decide what you're looking for. Right. Keep going. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you know, as I said, attend some online classes. 
online events. There are all kinds of things. You look on Eventbrite. There are all kinds of things happening around that sometimes are, you know, geographically located um, in a certain area, which would be, you don't know, probably want to be dating people halfway across the world. It can be even more challenging. But, and then you just start slowly getting to know people. And like I said, you know, remember just to keep that spirit of like, like say lazy, be a little lazy about it, be real relaxed. And maybe you're several people you're getting to know. Maybe you need to keep notes about everybody and, and just see, you know, who, who you're lit up by, you know, who you're drawn to. Maybe you start to discover, oh, you know, actually I am kind of more interested in a, in a partner, or maybe I just want to have some more casual, you know, friendships this way over Zoom and then, or Skype, and then later, you know, maybe meet some of the people. So it, it kind of like, a, it, just let it be a little more organic because we do need to, we can't just, you know, rush out and meet that easily. It, it can be risky to do that, obviously. It's, it's great advice. Um, it seems to me that, as you mentioned, um, whether it's sexual di diseases uh, or, or COVID-19 or, or anything, they, those are almost irrelevant. There's always going to be something, as Rosanna, Rosanna Dana said. It's always something. Um, but really, the basics are, remain the same. And the basics are, as you pointed out, figure out what you're looking for, put yourself out there. Yeah. Uh, you know, a ask your friends and let them know what you're looking for, whether it's dating or a relationship or whatever it is. And, and then um, join, go out and, and join and find and meet people because uh, it's been my experience that as you meet people, uh, you, depending on the person, you're going to connect a lot or a little you know, or none at all. And every person you meet is going to inspire you to say, you know, let's be, become friends, let's work together, let's date, let's whatever, or not, or great to meet you, thanks a lot, never want to see you again. You know, <laughs> it, you have all those choices in front of you. But if you're not out there meeting people in general, making friends, you're never going to find a relationship. Yeah, I mean, like, it can, you know, friends can just introduce you, of course, that's one of the things, but, you know, I want to, I don't like the, the term never, that kind of gave me a little bit of a, <laughs> sorry, a little bit of a spook, but, um, but yeah, so you're right, you need to, you know, to sort of be willing to put yourself out there, and it, there are always going to be circumstances that um, you have to be cautious about, and, you know, almost like decide, well, gee, you know, I'm sheltering in place with these people, and they're with, you know, by themselves, and what kind of, you know, what's your risk level around that? Like, it's like, oh, I'm still going out and doing all this, and and I and this person is not. Well, maybe that's not the best best match, you know. Or you find two people who are like, wow, I've been really careful, and, you know, yeah, I am willing to meet. And you know, if enough time has gone by and you have some comfort with that person, you know, and some trust has built up, then sure, you know. Um, but we need to, yeah, listen in and and also our our interest in what we're looking for. You know, you mentioned when maybe I just want to date or maybe I want a relationship. Well, dating is the pathway to discover what do you want sometimes. And maybe you discover that, you know what, I just, I'm enjoying my friendships and I want to have a few more close friends and, and I'm good. Or, you know, maybe I do want a partner in life. So it's a discovery process. Yeah. You start with what you're wanting and, and think you want, but you learn as you go along and that's, um, allow it to unfold that way. Well, life is a discovery process, isn't it? So, with all the with all these uh, 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 hints and of, of ways for people to go, uh, probably the one that stuck with me the most because uh, John and I are off the market, as he said. We're both married over fifty years, but it would seem to me that if I uh, were single and uh, uh, looking for love in different places, uh, I would I would advertise the fact, as you said, and perhaps I would do that by uh, getting a, uh, a mask that said, I'm open to relationships, <laughs> and then have, let's say, three bullet points, okay? Uh, you get, you got to love Zoom, okay? You got to love social distancing, okay? I love you, but keep your distance. <laughs> and advertise. All, and, all of this on your mask. Right. And, on your mask. And, and, under, said, and for further information, contact Michelle Fabrica, the love coach, uh, love and relationship coach. Dot com. That's great. That's great. There's somebody who's going to be making those masks up, Art. That's a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> they probably already have. Anyway, yeah. 
Well, thank you, Michelle, again for uh, useful uh, uh, information. And uh, what's the best uh, way that people can, uh, uh, a website that the pe people can reach you at? Yeah, so michellefabrica.com. And uh, I think you have it in the links below. So yeah, it'd be great. Um, love to talk with anybody who's wanting, having some challenges around their relationships, either single or in a relationship. And um, love helping people have that kind of joy and delight and bliss that, they're, that they, they want. Okay, hey, John. Uh, anything further or? Uh... No, just a big thank you, Michelle. Mm. Uh, even though Art and I are, as he likes to say, off the market. Right. Um, this is great advice, great relationship advice for uh, a lot of people in the Celebrating Act 2 audience who are over 50 and um, at any age. At any age, absolutely. Relationship. You bet. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. We look forward to seeing you again on the next video. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.